Time to hand over the treasure. Treasure? We are humble folk. There is no treasure here. Don't play coy with us. We know it's here. Yeah. No way as for us to go through the trouble of hiding this book if there weren't no treasure. You fool! Don't go blabbing all our secrets! I, uh, a book? What book? We didn't see no book. A book? They stole a book from the archives? Use your eyes and think. If we were hiding treasure, would we not avail ourselves some small portion of it? I... I suppose. Don't let his fancy words befuddle that thick head of yours! If they're just going to keep yapping on about having no treasure, we might as well drive them out and look for it ourselves. And if they get hurt in the process, they can't say we didn't warn them. It is I who shall warn you. Cease this folly and we will not punish you. This place falls under our rule, and we won't suffer bandits to harass our subjects. We don't need the sufferance of some blue bloods. You'll regret crossing swords with me and mine. Tis your last chance. Hand over the treasure so we can all go home and Pa can stop his moaning about how we're so poor. Or don't hand it over! and make it fun for us. We're coming for you either way. Hi, can do. Allow me to be of assistance. Understood. Do my best. As you wish. Whatever treasure you seek, it isn't here. Leave now and save us all unnecessary trouble. Shut your trap. That's exactly what someone with treasure would say, and we're coming for it. Here I come. Ha-ha! 
Ready. For the greater good. Here you go. I needed that. For the people. Joke. Shall we begin? This is what I do. My wounds are healed. Here I go. Stand ready. On guard! My work bears fruit. Uh. Heaven, heed me! The heavens bless me! You've left yourself open. It's over. It's for life. You won't escape. Victory is within reach. Your luck has run out. Ready for battle. And where shall we strike? Now, what say you to a little wheeling and dealing? Hand it over, and we'll let you go with your lives. We'll have no truck with bandits. Continue this folly at your own peril.
whatever it takes. Here you go. You have my gratitude. That was most welcome. Back at you. My time has come. I won't stand for it. My kith and kin. I don't feel well. Keep going. A wasted effort. Open. Time to work. Good. Here you go. Much appreciated. For the honor of House Wolfort. Now I am. The heavens judge you. The heavens rage. Time has come. I won't stand for it! That went well. I... don't feel well. For one and all, I feel blessed!
Your orders? I'll do my utmost. Where shall we strike? This ends here! At your command. Very well. Tremble in fear! New power overflows within me. Be at ease, thank you. Time to work. Sound strike. This'll hurt. Victory is within reach. Ho ho! Are healed. My turn. Damn that hurt. Damn that hurt. It's for life. Close, but not quite. Taking off. Taking off. Whatever it takes. You've left yourself open. What a mess. All right, enough. For the honor of House Wolfort. <laughs> that hit the mark. My time is now.
My time has come. On guard! Time to work. This will hurt. Press. Cool heads shall prevail. Be at ease. I am in your debt. Damn you! Ugh. Behold! Behold! I'll do my utmost. From where shall we strike? My time is now. The heavens rage! Son of a swine herder! I can't go back to Pa empty handed. It's over. You've lost. No more of your little tantrums. Leastways, if you like having your neck attached to your head. Kill us if you want, you bloodthirsty bastards! We're getting that treasure! Mark my words! Trish, stop this madness. Pa? I told you to stay put! And let you throw your life away? You always were too hot-headed for your own good, girl. You have my apologies for this whole mess. I'd ask you to spare our lives. But I know how the world works. You can't let bandits think they can raise and pillage with impunity. You need to make an example out of us. Take me, hang me, behead me, whatever you please. Just leave my daughter and my people their lives. I beg you. Have you lost your mind? I was the one who led us here. Me! Didn't expect this from the likes of you lot. I suppose even the most unsavory of us has love for their daughters. Love her I do. I. She's got a bit too much of my foolhardiness in her. As you can see, she's in such a fervor to find this treasure so I can live my final days in comfort. Can't blame her for looking after her old man, can you? Stop talking, Pa! I'm the head of our band of ruffians, so if anyone deserves to answer for your sins, it's me and me alone. From one leader to another, once again, I beg you, spare the others. Then let's make a deal. What sort of deal? We shall pardon you and your kin and allow you to work in the Wolfort domain. But in exchange, would you serve House Wolfort? I would like you to help us find the treasure in this village. Frederica. I apologize for deciding this on my own, but there is some merit to this. So you believe a treasure exists? Of a sort, yes. It may be related to the salt crystal. We should at least take that possibility into consideration and investigate further. So you're saying this treasure might help everyone, not just the lucky few? If that's the case, then I'm happy to shake to that. Take me instead of Pa, or we're like to be as old as he is before we find the treasure. Stop with the bluster. I'm as spry as a... Ah! <laughs> I cursed back. 
We all know about your back, Pa. Now go on and rest. The young blood will take care of it from here. There comes a time when a daughter's got to pick up her Pa's slack, and that's now. I won't hear another word on the matter. You'll be the end of me yet, girl. Like father, like daughter. Do you find this agreeable, Jerome? I do. There was no harm done to my village or my people. Then the deal has been struck. Let's get started with the search, shall we? Yes, my lord. Leave it to me. So this book is going to help us find the treasure. That it will. We found it stuffed in the deepest, darkest recesses of the Esfrosty archives. My thieving senses tell me it'll lead us to something that'll make us all rich. Esfrost's most confidential information is stored in the archives. There is definitely something of import in there. Never thought I'd say this, but good steal. It wasn't easy, but I had to. For Pa. Sadly, it's locked up tight, and trust me, you won't be forcing that thing open. I tried. I see. It's sealed with powerful magic. Would we need another spell to counter the seal? There's probably a key that can open it. I had the same thought. It's probably nestled somewhere in this village. What makes you say that? Take a good look at the cover, and you'll see a map with Norzelia. Indeed, there is. If this is the Norzelia River, then this must be the Wolfort Domain. In which case, those jewels are right on... This village. Exactly. We came here because we thought we'd find a way to open it. Jerome, do you have any notion where it could be? Hmm. I've never seen a key that would have fit in that sort of lock. Are you sure it's not just coincidence? It could be, but if it isn't... Then the key is in this village. And the treasure in this book must be related to the Roselle. And it may shed light on the nature of the salt crystal. Then let's search the village. Salt crystal? Care explaining? In due time, first we find the key. And when searching for lost things, a thief can be most useful. Can we count on your assistance, Drish? <laughs> sure you can, Chief. It's what our lot do best. We've scoured the village, but have found nothing that resembles a key. However, our search wasn't entirely fruitless. Trish told us an interesting story from when she stole the book. Share with the others, if you will. The book seems to be titled, The Diary of Orlea. Or, at least, that's what the stuffy-looking attendant said it was. Didn't mean much to me at the time, but... Orlea? But that's... Yes. My mother. As you know, she led the uprising of the Roselle, and laid the foundations of this very village after escaping from the Source. 
It was some time after that she met my father, the former Archduke. Frederica, if indeed it was your mother who penned this book, then I believe you may already have the key. Of course! The thing we've been searching for has been around my neck this entire time. It opened. So this was my mother's book. Pray, read it for us, Frederica. This is a legend handed down by the Rosels since times of old. It is the secret history of Norzelia. I, Orlea Rosel, am recording the legend here as the last keeper of these histories. In ancient times, the Rosel lived in Centralia, a land to the distant south of Norzelia. It sat on the shore of the sea, a source that extended to the horizon and beyond. It was said to be a paradise, a place where people never wanted for salt. The Rozelle knew more about salt than anyone, for it was a part of their everyday lives. In those days, Norzelia still rested at the bottom of the sea, but a cataclysm brought it to the surface, turning it into land. The sea dried up, and the small portion that remained is what we know today as the Source. Eventually, many people migrated to the new land of Norzelia. They waged war over the Source, wishing to get their hands on its precious salt. Our ancestors came to Norzelia in hopes of putting an end to the fighting. They knew that the salt still remained, even without the sea. It merely crystallized and sank deep into the earth. After all their searching, they unearthed a giant crystal. No, a very pillar of salt. They showed it to the people of Norzelia, told them that salt could be found beneath their very feet. However, those who had seized control over the source sought to reign over all of Norzelia by controlling the salt. They, the holy state of Hyzant, attacked and slaughtered the Rozelle. They hid the pillar erased the existence of salt crystals, and imprisoned the surviving Rizel at the source. Thus we were branded sinners, criminals who wanted sole dominion over the land's salt. To justify their own monopoly, Hyzant created the goddess's teachings, but she needed a villain. To this very day, the Rozel are scorned, made to shed blood and tears, all in her name. But the goddess herself is proof of the Rozel in legends. I saw it with my own eyes during the uprising. Inside of her statue is the pillar of salt that was taken from our ancestors. But I could not expose the truth of the goddess. It took everything I had just to get a fragment. But that piece is the key to freeing the Rizel. It must be. For my brethren who continue to suffer for a crime they did not commit,
The Holy State's teachings are false. The Goddess's blessings spread across all Norzelia. The blessing of the true Goddess. The blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people. The blessing my mother spoke of was the Salt Crystal. And the false teachings referred to salt existing outside the Source. It would be the key to ending Hyzant's monopoly on salt. This has the power to change Norzelia as we know it, but it is not something we can recklessly proclaim. But I cannot forgive Hyzant. They rewrote history with their false doctrines and continued to oppress the Roselle, all to maintain their power over salt. We have the keys that can unlock the fetters that have bound us for so long. We need only find a way to use them. We would need conclusive evidence. Right now, all we have is a salt crystal. We would not be able to prove that more salt lies beneath the earth, or even the truth of the goddess's statue. I don't care how much time it takes. Can we not find out the truth? House Wolford is currently under the banner of Hyzant. We may be branded as rebels if the Holy State deems our actions as defiance of the Goddess. And so, history would repeat itself. But my mother has given us a chance with this book. I cannot simply let it pass me by. I understand how you feel, and the responsibility of House Wolfort to the Roselle. Please give me some time to think, Frederica. Of course. I believe in House Wolfort. And in you, Saranoa. You deserve credit as well, Lady Frederica. You and your mother are the reasons we can wield this truth. You are a friend of the Roselle, now and forever. Walk proud with the knowledge that you have served your people well. I shall. Thank you, Jerome. There is none other I would trust to lead our people into the future. Where you go, we shall follow. Of that you have my word. I shall count on it. I think I follow you. These salt crystals. They're the treasure we're looking for. Correct. And not a word to anyone of what's written in this book. Mom's the word, promise. Guess that means you don't want any suspicious looking fellows anywhere near this place. Now, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but how'd you feel about leaving the protection of this village to Pa and the others? Decrepit as he is, he can still bust heads better than any rank and file troops. I can promise that much. For what it's worth, I believe her. Her sword aren't known for lying. As do I. Then I leave the protection of the village to Travis. I hope that's fine with you, Jerome. The Roselle treat all creeds fairly, so long as we are treated fairly and kind. Thank you for your understanding. Well then, we should return to the capital. I would consult with Benedict and Roland on this new turn of events.